Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa My name is Raki Nyas. Um, I am a poet, I'm a teacher, a spiritual leader, um, counsellor, um, also a community leader. Now, I've written my book, Third Eye Open. Also, just to say, I was the founder of the first um, British Nasheed group called Mecca to Medina, who uh, was the, um, used to um, make Nasheeds and travel around the world uh, singing songs about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I just released this book, Third Eye Open, um, my first book. It's a poetry book. And uh, first of all, Third Eye Open itself means like the inner knowledge. Uh, uh, this person has the inner knowledge. And um, Third Eye uh, Open is like, for example, those people that have a deeper insight, a higher consciousness. This is what the, the, the idea of Third Eye Open means. And... Uh, this is a poetry book, lots of my poems that I've put into three categories. Okay, so the first category is what is called conscious poetry. Conscious, that means that like um, uh, just social issues. So for example, in the first category, I'm talking about racism. I'm talking about a danger in London, which is knife crime at the moment. Um, uh, the reason why I'm, I'm a poet, uh, Islamophobia. Um, racism these are all the kind of topics that I talk about in the first part of the book which is called consciousness the second part is about Islam where I focus on things like um, Muhammad Ali, the power of dua uh, advice to young Muslims um, the shining light of upon that Somalia as well there and in the third category it's talking about spirituality to so off Islam, Imam, Ihsan um, I'm talking about a, a, a great Sheikh or Sheikh Ahmad Tijani and Sheikh Ibrahim Nasu, the Sheikh from Senegal. Um, and uh, the idea of fighting against the nafs and reaching to the higher levels. That is in the third part, which is called Sufism. So it's a lot in the, in the book itself. So I've been writing poetry for, for years, since the days of Mecca to Medina, which is probably now, it spans more than 20 years, uh, even longer, okay? Um, and I've always been writing poetry, writing raps and stuff, and I always thought to myself that one day I'll put it in a book. And the reason why is because sometimes when you're listening to um like, you know, rap, or you're listening to um, uh, music music with a beat behind it, sometimes you don't get to hear all the words. But when it's written down, you can take your time, you can read through it, you can go back over it, you can read through it, and you can look into the deeper meanings. And because all of uh, my content, you know, since the days of Mecca to Medina, you know, all my content has actually been, you know, uh, educational, I thought it'd be great if I could have it in a book form. Because in the book form, people can take their time, they can go over it, they can use it to, to teach about certain issues. So it, it's an educational tool as well as a, you know entertaining tool, as well as something to reflect, to increase in Iman, increase in enlightenment. All of this can be done, got from this book. So this book uh, is the first book that I've actually published myself. I've self-published. Uh, it's called Al Latif Books, Al Latif Publishing. I've also got an um, uh, uh, online bookstore called Al Latif Books. Al Latif Books um, sells books on um, Sufism, on spirituality. And so now uh, this book is also going to be sold there as well. And this is my own publisher. My brother in law, uh, he actually is a writer and he writes. Um, novels and stuff. He's the one who's been like guiding me through how to set up my own publishing um, company. So that is how I actually set up um, and how I got it published. So in the uh, the book, my my kind of poetry is sort of like a reflection poetry. So you know when I look around, when I'm in society when I actually um, uh, see things that go on in society, I write it down. Also, sometimes you know, uh, I have conversations. 
have conversations with people and then through those conversations uh, I get ideas for a poem and then I write it down and, and also that there might be an area that I would like to write a poetry about that, that um, I don't know too much about then I'll go and research it I'll go and research that area first and after I've researched it, from that research, I would write a poem about it. These are some of the reasons, and this is how I go about um, uh, writing my poems. And also, I'm someone that when I write poems, uh, uh, one po I might write one poem straight away, but usually, I usually will start a poem, write a few lines, leave it, later come back to it another time, and then carry on writing a bit more, leave it, and come back to it another time. Because... I feel there are sometimes when the, the the feeling is hot and you can write some great some great material, but then sometimes uh, uh, that 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 greatness that you feel when you're writing some lines it, it, they, don't, they don't really sound too great. So now I would stop writing them and say okay, and I'll come back again when I feel really you know excited and fresh about this, and then I'd carry on writing like that. So yeah, it depends. You know um, how I feel and what is coming out. As I said to you, you know, for example, um, I have many, many different different poems and different negation. I write to release frustration. I write to fix my fixation. I write to gain insight into my inner being. I write to perfect my passion of praising the most proper and praiseworthy. Taha Mustafa, the one and only. I write to continue my journey, to seek and serve thee, I write because I can. So that was a one poem talking about I write. Also, um, another issue that's close to my mind that I talk a lot about is the idea of racism. And I've got sort of like a, um, a few poems uh, about racism, but one that, um, uh, which is very short, that I can share with you now, is the idea of, of Black Lives Matter. I wrote a very short poem about that. Black Lives Matter. Bullets leave misery. Being late matters. Blacks love music. Brain loves meditation. Beneath lies mysticism. Black leaders matter. Be like Muhammad, bloom like marigolds. There's a short poem about racism. Yeah, so that, that's a few of, of poems on the first, my first part. So um, I get my ideas of writing poems, as I said, just through different inspirations, different uh, communications, communication with friends, uh, things that I might see uh, on the internet or TV or things that I read about. So my in my inspirations come from many different ways, not just one place. It comes from many different places where I get my inspiration from. Now, my favourite, I haven't really got like a favourite, favourite um, poem, because there's so many, but to be honest with you, okay, the one that is quite exciting for me at the moment, really because I'm going through, because we're all going through like um, the death of George Floyd and, you know, now there's a big focus on racism. I wrote this poem called I'm Black that I'd like to re recite for you. I'm black. I'm black like the midnight sky. I'm black like the hole they put you in when you die. I'm black like the pupil in your eye. I'm black like the eagle that soars high in the sky. I'm black like the carpet that you circulate, begging for forgiveness in a spiritually charged state. I'm black like the black stone in Mecca, that you struggle to kiss to increase Rizik and Baraka. I'm black like Malcolm, Malik Al-Shabazz, who was freeing the minds like prisoners from Alcatraz, who was focused on the truth, not on razzmatazz. I'm black like rap, R&B and jazz. I'm black like the Moors who ruled Spain for 800 years, when you were in the dark ages, they were true pioneers in science, math, geography and philosophy, introducing astrolabe, a great step in astronomy, the shining light of the eighth century. I'm black like the tears of the slaves who cry for freedom. I'm black like the roots author, Alex Haley, who told the true story of slavery, a tragedy. I'm black like Quinta Kinte forced to change his name to Toby. We lost our language, names and culture, a dark adversity. 
I'm black like the universe, which is high above the skies. Like dark energy, I keep growing and I rise. I'm black like the pharaohs who built the pyramids. You broke off their noses because you're truly bigoted. Trying to hide the truth from the children of the Egyptians so they would go up thinking that they never contributed to world civilization, but the truth has been polluted. Hidden away like you hide your precious rubies. But the truth always appears. We know the game. We're not newbies. I'm black like Bilal, the first man to call to prayer. Defender of the truth, falsehood disappear. When he called the Adan, his voice was smashing all the idols. Inside and out with the truly blessed recital. I'm black like the Negus, protector of the Ummah. In the beginning, before we had the blessed Medina, the place of sanctuary for the first community, where they could worship freely, free from captivity. I'm black like melanin that exists in our skin. Powered up by that sun, we're taking in that vitamin. I'm black lives matter, like that youth Michael Brown. When I reflect, I frown. The innocent gun down. Innocent life snatched away before potential had a chance to blossom like flowers. Preservation is essential. I'm black like Marcus Garvey, the Pan-African. Trying to raise your self-esteem until you say, I can. Liberate the minds of men and ultimately you will liberate the bodies of men profusely. So that is a poem that I did called I'm Black. And that is, you know, uh, it really fits into the time now when we're reflecting on racism and even the idea of racism. And we know it's very big um, in, in Islam. Um, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his last sermon he taught, you know, there's no difference between a black and white. There's no difference between an Arab, non-Arab. The best of you is the one who's the most pious has the most taqwa. So that is um, uh, one of my poems that I love. Um, let me see, another poem, okay, which is kind of like an asheed, is about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it's called Shining Light. Ya Rasulullah, anta nur alameen, anta habal Allahi al-mateen. Ya Rasulullah, anta nur alameen, sallallahu alayka wa sallam. Ya Rasulullah, you are the shining star, shining so bright, the guiding light to Allah. Your radiation spreads worldwide and globally for every nation and people, far wider locally. He was born in Mecca. His mother's name was Amina. On the day of his birth, a light of a beam of light went to Syria. Ya Rasulullah, anta nur alameen. Anta habal Allahi al matin. Ya Rasulullah, anta nur alameen. Sallallahu alayka wa sallam. His father's blessed face was illuminated by the blessed seed of the Prophet Muhammad, the best of the human creed. The light was passed to Amina when he was conceived. The saviour of mankind. Nur alameen. Anta habal Allahi al matin. Ya Rasulullah, anta nur alameen. Sallallahu alayka wa sallam. O oh, Allah, help us to emulate him in our actions and interactions. O oh, Allah, help us to be with him in the afterlife, the promised paradise. Ya Rasulullah, anta no alameen. Anta habal Allahi al matin. Ya Rasulullah, anta no alameen. Salallahu alayka wa sallam. So that one was uh, for our blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So in the uh, in, in the spirituality one there's many which is Sufis and there's many nice poems that I like uh, I think I would do uh, let's see which one to okay I'll do one about intoxication which is being with God focusing on God and just becoming uh, loved with God, just being one with God, being focused with God, when you're the people of uh, Ihsan, like Imam Ghazali, um, um, uh, Shaykh Rumi, uh, Shaykh Ibn Atta'illah, Shaykh Ahmad Tijani, uh, Shaykh Ibrahim Yas, uh, Shaykh Uthman Danfodio, um, uh, Shaykh, Shaykh Hassan Shadali, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalani, these are all people of spirituality spirituality to solve and i wrote this one which is like when you be, when you're doing more and more uh remembrance of allah to become intoxicated with him and so this poem is called intoxication i'm a drunkard i'm not drunk on the wine i'm drunk on the divine i'm not drunk on the wine i'm fixed on the sublime everywhere i look i see signs of the divine 
Don't waste my time on material possessions. I'd rather be sold in a spiritual session where Allah is the lesson. There's no second guessing. I'd like to be inspired by words so profound that illuminate the heart like a bulb underground, that pierce the soul like a needle pierces skin, causing internal purification within. Immediate elevation, raising of a station, my only weapon, my tasbees, heavenly keys, raising me degrees with every blessed rotation, pleasing the Creator and subduing the creation, my eyes and thoughts are on Him. No time for fake imitation. Recite salawat so there's no me left. I had a spiritual death. Speak with heavenly breath. There's no me left. I've been replaced by the essence, dragged into the presence. In the presence. This is a holy present from the only giver, from the only liver that makes hearts quiver, the only giver that can deliver illumination. I'm stuck on fixation, fueled by sanitation. On the mercy to the nation, Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the light bearer, holier than the Kaaba, the seven heaven traveller, holy Quran interpreter, the key to Allah, keyhole and the door. Salawats on him till there's me no more. Salat al fati the unseen barrier. The seal of the Oliya, the hidden carrier of the Prophet's Tariqa, from a visual encounter, a blessed relationship between student and teacher, between servant and master, between knower and seeker, between sheikh and murid is Allah. The first, the last, the hidden and the seen. Only through his mercy can we arrive at Yaqeen. Amin. So that's just a few of my um, poems. So I hope that I hope that um, uh, people that get the book, they can take many things from it, like as I said earlier, education wise, um, inspiration um, and uh, uh, an increase in Iman, um, also, you know, uh, 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 more knowledge, more knowledge about the Deen and also just the insight. So you're, you're getting insight into my thinking on certain issues like racism and stuff like that. So. It's a it's a uh, a full rounder, so I I just hope that um, uh, people that get this book will be inspired. Yes, be inspired, filled with iman, filled with nur. Um, you can get this book on uh, Al Latif Books. That is www.allatifbooks.oneworld.co.uk. Um, you can also get it on, on Amazon and and other good book outlets I am going to be working on the second book um, and I, I hope to be honest with you, I, I, I want to do another I've got a few books actually in line so I'm not sure what I'm going to do next I've got one which is going to be just like a, a, a seerah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I want to do that I also, I also I'm into self-help and, and mentoring, so I want to. I'm working on a self help book as well, so I might uh, do that one next. I've got a few, but to be honest, definitely, this is not going to be the last. I'm hoping by next year I'll have another book, inshallah. And then, um, as soon as I do and I've got it completed, I will let you know, inshallah, so, so I can do another interview with you and we can discuss about it. So yeah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah Khair for listening. Um, you can follow me, uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's just Rakin Yas, R-A-K-I-N-N-I-A-S-S. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on LinkedIn as Rakin Fatuga. Also, you can go to my website, rakinyas.co.uk. So there's many, many ways you can find me, inshallah, you know, hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll get the book and you enjoy. And if you do get the book and you enjoy, please contact me, let me know your favourite poems. Alhamdulillah, Bilameen, Zakhalah Khair, may Allah accept it. Uh, may Allah bless you all. Thank you for listening. Uh, take care until we, we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.